What's up guys, I got my crate digging hat on and I am about to go to the DJ Shadow second annual pop-up in Highland Park, California. Sponsored by Rap Cats. Last year I found some really cool DJ Shadow stuff that he was there signing it and stuff that was out of print. A lot of cool rarities and I'm gonna go check it out. I'll let you guys know what I find. So this is the second year in a row that the great DJ Shadow is doing a pop-up vinyl shop. This isn't just his collection of records, even though he does have a really nice selection of his out-of-print stuff, some rarities, like I was saying. He also has a bunch of duplicates from his collection, so anything that he has two of, exact same press, just one copy, maybe slightly less clean than the other, he's putting it for sale for a good price. And Shadow samples all sorts of things, so you know his collection is massive and full of gems. Last year, I came away with a couple cool DJ Shadow things that were out of print, and this year I found even more. And he was nice enough to sign everything, take a picture with me, the works. It was a great experience. It was free to go to, met some cool people in line, and there were a couple good gifts they gave us too. This is the Jukebot. Jukebot was, I guess, on tour with DJ Shadow, I believe with Cut Chemist a few years back, and I think it was sold on tour. They gave us each one of these little Jukebots. Look, little record there. Let's talk about the records though. First up, I got this tour only from the Mountain Will Fall tour, 12 inch record that not every show had and the ones that did have it sold out super fast when doors open. It's a limited number, I'm not quite sure how many. I believe currently this is for sale on his site for $25. It's going to go quick on Discogs before it went up for sale, the extra stock. It goes for like $200. So I got this for 10 bucks, very good deal. Especially when this goes out of print, it's gonna skyrocket. Cool little die cut on the cover too, and of course, signed by the man. This is just a white label. I believe this is overrun from the uh, introducing box set. Uh, I'm not quite sure what is on this, but I trust Shadow, pretty much everything he touches is gold. So he signed the white label. I'm gonna listen to it. Hopefully it's a really cool track, a cool remix, we'll see. I knew there was a reason I was holding off picking up The Mountain Will Fall on vinyl. And that's because I was waiting to get a copy signed by Mr. DJ Shadow himself. This is his latest album featuring the absolute hit track, Nobody Speak, featuring Run The Jewels, which is one of my favorite rap tracks in a while. Signed by him, a nice gatefold. Normally this retails for like 20, 25, maybe 30 bucks. $15 sealed, plus he signed it. You can't beat this. It's a little EP, the DJ Shadow Liquid Amber EP. This has been out of print for some time. This is the second pressing of it. Still easily worth 50 plus dollars, two solid songs on it, and 10 bucks. DJ Shadow's album, The Private Press, underrated album of his. This is a single from it. I like the art, I like the songs. Walkie Talkie, Mongrel Meets His Maker, Mashing on the Motorway, uh, Letter From Home. And uh, I, think this, it's, I think this predates The Private Press because it says, uh, taken from the forthcoming album, The Private Press. So this probably came out right before as like a promo. Uh, really nice, signed again by the man. And this is a cool extended mix. Last year I picked up one of these and he signed it for me as well. Uh, the one last year had Zach De La Roca on it doing some awesome vocals over Shadow's mixing. This is the XFM mix from 2002. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea what's on it. Really excited to listen to it. Like I said, you can't really go wrong with DJ Shadow. And then the coolest thing I got, probably, not the rarest, but the coolest. I was really stoked. I didn't see this in the stacks and I was digging through and some guy came up behind me and just refilled one of the bins with a couple things. This was one of them. It's it's an open copy. I don't know if it's used, but it's definitely not sealed, but looks really clean and uh, signed by DJ Shadow. So I got all of these records together for like $100, which is crazy because if you got these in stores or even when they were on sale before they were out of print, it would have been way more than that. I also got this really cool introducing poster, which shows Shadow with a ton of records as he should. This is my future I'm looking into, I think. And he signed it for me, so I'm gonna have to frame this bad boy ASAP. The whole experience was great. Like I said, he was really nice to talk to, super humble, kind guy. Took a picture with me. Here it is. 
I just had a really good time. So thank you, Rap Cats. Thank you, DJ Shadow, for doing this again. Hopefully there'll be a third one next year and I can spend more money and get some more cool stuff. If you like DJ Shadow, let me know what your favorite tracks and albums are. I know pretty much everything, but maybe you could surprise me and show me what I don't know. If you don't know DJ Shadow, please dig in. Start with introducing and just move through his catalog. He is a legend of the electronic industry with down-tempo, trip-hop, plunderphonic style music. He is easily top three for me at least, and I think most would agree. If you like this video, want to see more vlogs out in the field and more cool hauls like this, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these videos in the future, so hopefully you'll stick around. I'm gonna go listen to some DJ Shadow now. See ya.